This is a brief video to show you how to wire up resistors in series. Let's say you needed to make a resistor. Um, I know one student said that they didn't get one kilo ohm resistors, but they do have 470 ohm resistors. So if you have a couple of 470 ohm resistors, you can put them in series and create uh, a one kilo ohm resistor. So to put them in series, you would do this. You would make sure that this is what you don't want to do when you put resistors in series. You don't want to do them like this. Let's see, I'll, I'll start by showing what not to do. There's one there and make sure I get it in the right, the proper holes to not do. So if you look at this resistor here, this that lead and that lead are both in the same row. You don't want to do that. That will short out the resistor. So if I were to actually try to connect this end to a meter, I'll do it right now. Say I want to measure that resistance and I put that resistor in like that. I put my meter in like this. It shows nothing. It shows zero ohms. Because what happens is there's a putting these in the same row means there's basically a wire right there. So when I put these two leads of the resistor in there, the current wants to travel through the single wire. It doesn't want to travel through the resistor. So it's a basically zero ohm resistance. That's called shorting out the resistor. To put them in series, what I want to do is this. I'm going to put one like that and one like that. And then put There's many ways to do it, but there, this is one way. Then the next one I can put in like this. There we go. So what you see here, and what I can do then is I'll put one wire on this lead of this resistor down here, and the other wire on this lead of that resistor there. And these are actually much bigger resistors. So these are um, not 470 ohm resistors. These are much bigger. I can't see their values. I think one of them is a thousand ohms and the other one is probably oh, 45 kilo ohms or something like that. They're very big, but they're in series right now. And the combination gives me a, a resistance of 0.46 mega ohms or 460 kilo ohms. So these are much larger, but this is how you put them in series. Hopefully this will help you if you need to put a couple of resistors in series.